starting to think that we do things way too differently to take this seriously. And all of the times that we said we go to therapy, we still ain't never been. Yeah, yeah. But things don't change. They stay the same. I've got to go. Um, Good morning guys. Today is Monday 12th of December and I'll be traveling to Canada. It's currently 6 and my flight is by 1, right? Why I'm going this early is because my sister-in-law has to get to work by 8. It's helping me take me to the airport. Today is travel day. Throughout the night I could not sleep. Like I honestly, honestly could not sleep. I don't even know what was happening to me. I was just tossing and turning, tossing and turning. If you look at my eyes, my eyes are quite swollen. They are quite swollen. When I woke up this morning, they were red. And I haven't yet started my journey. And I'm already tired. God be with me. God give me the strength to counter whatever challenge I have in front of me. So now I rush into the airport. This is my sister-in-law. She had to wake up early this morning to be able to drive into the airport and to be able to make it to work. Thanks to her, I'll be going to the airport I'll today. see you. <laughs> After I've gone through the stress of checking in and paying for my extra bag and going through immigration, so I'm looking for my body in gate. I say it's gate seven. So, guys, a little bit of yeah, it's so quiet. I don't know if you can hear me, but a little bit of a story. After I reached the airport, before checking in started, because I arrived so early, so I wasn't able to check in immediately. I arrived. They said it was checking in was starting by 9:30, and when I arrived, it was like 7, 8. So I had the opportunity to wrap up my box. While I was doing that, they had a scale near the place that they were wrapping it up. I took the opportunity to weigh my boxes. It turned out that. Two of my boxes were weighing 25 kg, 25 kg each. My Ganamos code that was my extra bag was weighing 22. So I had to immediately call my sister-in-law to ask her to take home some things instead of just giving it to them free. So I had to carry my boxes, walked back to the parking lot, and these were like four bags, 25, 25 kg and extra 22 kg and an extra 7 or 8 kg with my backpack so I had to carry all four or rather all five of them to the parking lot to drop some things I removed the arm removed one pack of Gary I also removed one pack of chin chin after I did that by 9 30 check-in started it wasn't so stressful they just asked for my passport and my ticket. I printed out my ticket. So they asked for that. Now told me to go to another counter that would check me in. So at that counter, I told them that I was having, uh, I had three luggages. They were all like 22, 23. So the guy was kind enough. He was, he explained to me and told me, oh, okay, that I have to pay for the extra bag. So he gave me a receipt and I went to another office where I paid for the bag. Well, was it worth it? It was kind of because I have like family over there. So that guy must go had like full stuff. My number one priority was to bring get full stuff. So I hope my sisters, Olachi and Eberichi, would appreciate the effort I put in in bringing this full stuff for them. So after that, I came back with the receipts. 
then they directed me to immigration immigration just gave me form to fill and they took my biometrics fingerprint um picture my fingerprints were acting up but i was able to do that then i was allowed to pass through so currently the time is like 10 and my flight is by one so i have like three hours or two hours to chill darling, oh darling, stay I hope this doesn't affect my connecting flight to Toronto. Over Nestor here, so welcome to the food review segment. At this point, they served us our first meal on the plane, and this was me asking my seatmate if the food was actually nice. My expectations were very low, so I was really skeptical when I took my first bite, but it turned out to be really nice, and I kept on going for more, going for more, and going for more and i was surprised to see that i actually enjoyed the meal and this is me doing a little dance and this was couscous and i tried um taking my first bite and i realized that nah that's it uh, it is not good it really isn't good and i was contemplating if i should take a second bite to see if it would get better with time and trust me it didn't it just got worse than that and i couldn't eat it so i had to close it up and keep it aside. I was explaining how bad it was to my seatmate and I went back to my original food and finished it up, cleared my plate and drank some water and continued watching my movie. We are currently at Addis Ababa. I'm at my boarding gate 816. It's currently 9.15 and my flight is by 10.15. 
So we have like 20 minutes or 30 minutes before boarding. I know my first flight was delayed, so everything got pushed back. But I made it, we made it just in time. We haven't yet stayed, but the flight was okay so far. It was good, it was a smooth ride. The food, I'll give the food 8 out of 10. It wasn't so bad. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it because I expected it to be way worse. I slept for like an hour, but not straight. I was not enough and all that. So I slept for an hour. I watched um, Doctor Strange. The flight that we're taking to Toronto is going to be like 16 hours. It's going to be 16 hours on a plane. That's when the real, the main journey starts. So, Guys, pray for me. I'm tired. Like my eyes are heavy. My eyes are heavy. I didn't know I had this much strength in me. Well, about the weather here, it's not so cold. When I got out of the plane, like this gush of chilled air that just blasted me. I was like, Oof. it was more like Nigerian weather, right? In the night, when it rains, like when it rains in the night. So that's how the weather is. So it's not it's not so 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 cold, but it's kind of chilly. This was the first meal that they served us on our connecting flight. The air hostess always asks if you like chicken or if you like beef. And throughout my flight, I kept on choosing beef option, right? Because someone told me that they had the chicken um, option on the same flight and it turned out to be horrible. So I didn't want to have that same experience. So I always chose beef and the beef was good. I wouldn't say it was fantastic, but it was edible. You see this thing right here? Don't eat it. Horrible. Horrible. Then they served us yogurt um, thingy and it was okay. Not so great, but okay. and this is the view behind me and it has snow all the way from here I want my um, my winter jackets because I'm trying to get ready for what is waiting for me outside so hopefully it doesn't I don't freeze to death So once we landed, they separated the students from the rest. They took us to a different room that we had to queue up. There were so many people there, like we were so many. And we had to like wait for them to call on us to come and get our study permit. But it didn't seem like the line was reducing at all. At this point, I was just tired. I was exhausted because I spent like three hours on the queue before I was attended to. After that, I went to claim my bags and head out to meet my sisters.
Me so off can. Yes, I know the landscape for that one. So, so talk, talk, talk to me. How do you feel? I feel cold. Is this you? This is you have four boxes. Only you. Huh? Where is the fifth one now? Okay. <laughs> How are you? Let me see your hair. I wrote my name. No, they write it at the airport so you know don't trust me, no mommy. <laughs> Because you know what me told me I should take a I should take a yeah, and and to, to, to mark it. Don't mind, mommy. Maybe you're here. All your documents are with you. Did you forget your passport? You better run back and get it. Yeah, they gave me. Oh, they gave you? Yeah. Okay. Let me show you now so you guys will see. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. How now? Call mommy. Uh, that her baby has landed. That's mm. private next, documents. Next one. This is the co-op one. So my sisters came. My sisters came to pick me up at the airport. <laughs> this is Eddie and this is Ola. <laughs> They're so excited to me. They are the reasons why I have five boxes. It is them that made me bring these five boxes. Yams, fish, and I don't have clothes. You guys, it is freaking cold. It is so cold, it's like a freezer. <laughs> Can you see the mist coming out of my mouth? And I'm just, I just like two minutes outside. We ordered the ride, and we're waiting for the ride to come. I need something new. On and on and on. Talking all night.